welcome Patriot Radio News Hour. Happy Thursday. Turn the heat on. Get the furnaces going. It's a cold day here in the Valley of the Sun. Winter is here. And what do we have to talk about? So, so many things. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group, our toll-free number. You know what? I'll just tell you right now. Either you call or you don't. If you want to be that naive and not get ready, that's on you. It's not on me. I, I've been telling you all along what is going to happen. And you're watching it unfold, and either you do something or you don't. That's on you. 800 951 What do we do? You know what we do. Legal, lawful, constitutional tender, wealth insurance, something that has been money for 5,000 years. Talking about gold and silver delivered right to your doorstep. Quickly, quietly, and most importantly, yet you always get it. We've been doing this 23 years and counting. Complaint free. We don't get them. Why? Well, because you know what? We treat everybody the same. With honesty, with respect. We don't play games. We don't bait and switch you. We don't have high markups. You know, we're the home of the single-digit markup, period. I mean, it's just that simple. And you always get your stuff. (laughs) That's even more important. Our website at allamericangold.com. You should be out there every single day. Keeping yourself educated on what is happening. 90% 90% of the stuff that's on that website I never talk about. So make sure you do it, allamericangold.com. You can order online. We've got the shopping cart. We've got the metals plan. Matter of fact, Wendy is here today. Give Wendy some props. She came in on New Year's Eve to get those metals plans going. Now she's here today to try to get even more of them done. This is how dedicated we are. If you are not Involved in the metal story. If you're, you know, like, listen, if you're one of the 93% of the people out there that are like, hey, when Joe runs specials and they're $1,400, $1,300, $1,500, $2,000, or $800 or $400, bucks, and I, you know, I don't have that kind of money, look at the metals plan. There's no reason why you can't be prepared. You can do that for as little as $100 a month. You get four physical deliveries of gold a year. It's a great thing, great program. Go out to All American Gold, read all about it, call us up, get in it. What are you waiting for? What, you don't see the sign? What, the $22 trillion deficit doesn't exist? The stock market bubble doesn't exist? You haven't felt it? By the way, it's only down 600 right now. We'll see. Big news out of Apple. Big, big news out of Jobs. Big news out of the soft data today as well. But as we get through all of this, I'll just tell you right now what Apple did last night. They said, you know... We're not going to make the money we so thought we were. And I hear all of these guys out there on the idiot box talking about P.E. ratio. And, oh, the stocks are at 16 times forward earnings. It's a buy. Nope. You want to know why? Because those forward earnings are all way too high. Apple didn't come out and cut their forward earnings a little bit. They come out and say, you know, we're going to make 1% less or 3% less or 5% less. They didn't come out and say we're going to make 10% less. 20% less. Apple was estimated to make $44 billion dollars. 
in 2019. They now said, eh, maybe 36. Number one reason? Well, they said China is slowing down. And remember what I told you, and I told you a while ago. A slowing China is not good for Wall Street. Because they're all there. Not good for anybody. But China's not slowing down just a little bit. The whole world is slowing down. And no, my friends, we are not immune. I know they don't want to admit it and again. I know that we're getting ready. The Democrats have taken over the House, and, and they're holding up the whole budget over $5 billion for a wall. Going to get a whole lot worse than that. They were smart. Which, let's say they're not. They'd fund the whole thing and start putting people back to work because, you know what, people are going to fall out of work real quick here. Yeah, the jobs market isn't what it seems. Matter of fact, construction jobs had the highest amount of layoffs in a decade. Unemployment claims spiked. Well, a soft data ADP said, oh, no, we got guys there. No, we don't. So many places. Listen, get ready. I'm just telling. Gold's up another what, seven, eight bucks here. Twelve ninety one, twelve ninety two. Silver, fifteen seventy five. Just getting started. Patriot Radio News Hour. Got a great show lined up for you. Don't touch that dial. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Nobody can see the sign. Right? Federal Reserve Chair Jay Powell, he can't see him. The Democrats that took over the House, they definitely can't see him. You know who sees him? Challenger Gray and Christmas sees him. Who are those guys? Well, they, they're the guys that count the actual layoff announcements filed by companies. See, when a company has to lay off more than X amount of people, they say like 50 people, you got to lay off more than that. You need to notify the government. You got to fill out a form. I, I don't know what the form looks like, but I'm imagining you got to tell them how many people and why. And there's a company out there that they go around and they, you know, I'm probably not very hard, reports the data. You know what they just reported? Total layoff announcements in December, 43,884,000 jobs. You know how that compares to last year? Right, because we don't have, we can't see any signs. And don't worry, Wall Street's going to rally. It's going to turn around any second now. That's 29% higher than a year ago. It's the highest total in three years. But they weren't done. They said for the year 2018. 538,659,000 job cuts. These were announced. Okay, so that means, like I said, they didn't count any little jobs. These were mass layoffs. Well, how did that compare? Oh, yeah, it's 29% higher than a year ago. But don't worry, we're, we're, everything's great. It's not slowing down. I thought we were supposed to create jobs with those tax cuts. According to Challenger, Gray, and Christmas, just the opposite happened. It's the highest annual total. Not going back, but three plus years ago. By the way, just missed that. Almost took that number out as well. It's the second highest total since 2011. And by the way, it was within 60,000 of that number. So we barely missed having it be the highest total in the last eight years. These are planned, announced, mass layoffs. 
and we're just getting started. We still don't know about Kmart, right? I told you about Kmart. I didn't know if they're going to liquidate. We still don't know if they're going to liquidate. They got a last-second bid by the same guy who brought them into bankruptcy the first no, I don't know, the first time, the last two times. I thought those guys, if your company filed bankruptcy, I thought you had to get rid of those guys. By the way, none of the vendors want it to happen. So we'll see. Even his plan. They'll be down to like 400 stores. That's his plan. All the rest, yeah, you're fired. Now, his plan, at least, you know, 68,000 people still work there. Now, his plan somewhere, that number is going to be somewhere around 40. If it gets, we'll know in two weeks. J.C. Penney, they got 100,000 people that work there. They haven't filed yet. They're gonna. But it's not just there. Construction layoff. The highest since the crash. We had mortgage applications come out today. I t- and I've been telling you about the housing crisis. I told you about six months ago. Remember? Remember I did that big story I was talking about Denver? And how all of a sudden the inventory started spiking and we thought, you know, you're seeing the headlines, Manhattan real estate crashing, New York City crashing, Seattle's crashing, San Fran's crashing. Mortgage applications down double digits again. They said people out there, nobody's buying. Listen, prices are not coming down fast enough. Right? They're coming down, but they're not coming down fast enough. They said that Challenger Gray and Christmas noted that 185,000 of the job cuts were due to companies quote unquote restructuring. Another 145,000 were to closing. Now that number is going to continue to rise. Voluntary buyout only made up less than 50,000 of the cuts. They tracked 798 announced cuts. Uh, They said that were due to enacted tariffs. Another 1,567 cuts were blamed on government regulation. I thought we were getting rid of regulation. All that's made up crap. Convenient excuses. Oh, and uh, hurricanes uh, were an earthquake. Also, you know. Again, though, here's the reality: all of the stuff that they tried to convince us. Remember the Great Recession? I know you remember. And how many people got devastated? They're not back. Yeah, they, they you know they're, they're they may be working again, right? They're renting a house somewhere, but their savings are gone. They're not coming back, and then they promised that they fixed it. We had a debt problem. How do you fix a debt problem? This is just a little simple question for all of you non-believers. You think somehow it's going to be different this time. I can tell you how you don't fix it. You don't fix it with more debt. But that's what they did. Remember all those tools in the toolkit? They weren't for you. They weren't for us. It was for them. The second we realize what's really happening, you know, and unfortunately, here's what it's going to take. See, the Great Recession wasn't enough for you to realize. When they take all of our money, then you'll know. And by then, it'll be too late. If you don't have your gold and silver by then, it's never going to happen for you. Because believe me when I sit here, they're coming for it. We were hoping that we were going to put together this special program, and we are. The install of the new automation system just was a little more complex than than I wanted to believe that it was. 
We're now shooting for the MLK holiday. We're, we're gonna, we're, we will have it done, but wait till you, we've been putting all of these pieces together. Believe me when I tell you, the dollars days are coming to an end. Why? Because it's a fiat currency, and that's what happens. I mean, really, when you think about it, it hasn't been around that long. See, most people just don't know history. And, and you know what? Let's face it. The school system makes sure you don't know history. What they want to teach you is their version of history. Because ignorance is bliss. No excuse for ignorance. That's why I told you Jay Powell and what he said. It, 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 it's they want Trump out, and this is what they're going—they're going to crash the whole damn thing. Doesn't matter, Trump out, Trump is. It was going to crash anyway. But now we're on the express train. See, we've only been a fiat currency for about fifty years, not quite. The Federal Reserve has only been around for 105 years. Do your history. If I was wrong, we'd all be Romans right now. Are you a Roman? No. Are you a Greek? Ah, oh, well, look at the Greeks. <laughs> That's even a better example. What all happened to the? Are we all... Chinese and, and part of the, the Ming Dynasty? No! They all did it. Fiat money goes to zero. And no currency lasts that long. That's the other thing history will tell you. How does it happen? Just like we've done. Right? Debt, debt, debt. How do we fix it? More debt. Why? Because, well, uh, doing it the right way is really hard. You know, during the Great Depression, we didn't even have $100 billion worth of debt. You know that $5 billion that they're holding up the whole government on? That would have been a ridiculous yearly deficit in the 30. Ridiculous! And now, it's what, one ten thousandth of a percent? I mean, it's it's become comical. And you think that you're going to have prosperity with that 401k? That's ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? Anybody that believes that is ridiculous. It's all your money. After the, by the time they get done whacking you with the fees year after year after year, and riding this roller coaster, you're no farther ahead. But the worst part is it'd be fine. You know what? If we were on the gold standard, it'd be great. Because if you had started that 401k 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, you may be able to buy the exact same stuff. In 1971, a really nice house, I mean a nice one, was about 25 k Right in most parts of the country, less than that. Brand new car. What? Three grand. You knew, I mean, you were... You're a big deal. Right? You're you're buying a Mustang. Corvette. I mean, you were buying something nice. Now look at it. Because we went off the gold standard. Now you borrow. You borrow 50 grand for a new car. You borrow $300,000 for what? 
some postage stamp house 50 miles from town? That's what they did. That's why you can never keep up with the 401k. You can't keep up. Gold was $35 when they did that. It's almost 1300 now. You can keep up with that. And I know it goes up and it goes down, but trust me, it only goes down when they live in fantasy land. You know, they're a great thing. Think about when gold went down. Started in the 80s, didn't it? And and believe you me, I love Ronald Reagan. Great president. But it's where it started really in real earnest. The debt hit a trillion his first year in office. And then they proceeded to say, eh. There was almost there was three trillion when he got out. But it felt good, didn't it? Of course, that doesn't count all the Social Security stuff either. Not feeling as good again right now, does it? But I'm more worried about what the rest of this year is going to look like. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. This is the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. Mrs. Schlafly was a courageous and articulate voice for traditional values and common sense for more than 70 years. Now, continuing that legacy, the president of Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, Ed Martin. As we take a breath and prepare for 2019, it's a good time to reflect on the predictable war on Christmas we've all just survived. Every year, Merry Christmas wishers and Happy Holiday hounders duke it out between tradition and so-called inclusion to remind us what holidays we are here to respect. The left would have us believe that the war on Christmas is just another vast right-wing conspiracy. Wishing a happy holidays is simply about including all of the religious holiday-goers, including Christmas, right? Well, try again. Liberal logic fails, shockingly, yet again. If wishing a politically correct happy holidays was simply for the sake of inclusivity, then why don't we issue this greeting around other groups of holidays? St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Passover, and Cinco de Mayo all follow in quick succession on the calendar. Mother's Day, Flag Day, and Father's Day all come within weeks or days of each other. And even on the left's most hated holidays like Columbus Day, they don't issue a Happy Holidays to skip a name they don't want to repeat. The push for Happy Holidays at these times is non-existent because inclusion simply is not the goal. Their objective is to erase the Christian heritage that the world has celebrated every December for centuries. Christmas is unavoidably Christian, after all. Even the seemingly commercialized parts of Christmas come back to Christ. The legend of Santa Claus ties right back to St. Nicholas of Myra, an early Christian bishop. The reality of Happy Holidays is that there is, in fact, a war on Christmas. More specifically, there is a war between cultural Marxism and Judeo-Christian culture around the world. Don't let the socialist Grinches steal your joy or your Christmas tree with fake, politically correct phrases. The world over decks out every December, not for 30 different holidays, but for the main event, Christmas. Liberals truly do fulfill the criticism of Linus in the classic Charlie Brown Christmas special. You're the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem. Make no mistake, Happy Holidays isn't about inclusion. It's about ditching Christmas. This has been the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. It's no secret that globalists are bent on destroying Western culture. Whether the threat comes from inside or outside our borders, America must be protected from cultural Marxism and those who would deny American sovereignty. We're seeking your insight at phyllisschlafly.com. That's phyllisschlafly.com. And join us again for the Phyllis Schlafly Report. 800-951-0592. Dow's down uh, just under 600 points, 578 points right now. S&P's down 47. The Nasdaq's down 130. Horrible news out of Apple. Well, just reality news. I mean... We already knew. I told you already. They they, they just slashed their how much money they're going to make by 20%. And guess what? So is everybody else. Right? So those P.E. ratios, those forward earning ratios, they're coming way down. 
So is the rest of the debt markets right along with it. Gold's up eight, twelve hundred ninety two. Silver fifteen seventy three. Today, US twenty and I'm gonna tell you get them while they're still this inexpensive. One through nine, thirteen ninety five. They're looking at about a hundred bucks. Premiums are going higher. Look at the silver today. By the way, silver premium rising rose fifty cents an ounce overnight. U.S. twenty dollar liberties or Saint. I'll let you decide. I'm a nice guy. One through nine, thirteen ninety five. Ten through nineteen, thirteen eighty five. 20 or more, 1375 at 800-951-0592. Because at the end of the day, when, this, when, the, when the dust settles 10 years from now, and it's probably less, okay, I'm being generous, nobody's going to care about how much your IRA is. Right. Remember the commercial with that boy? I still love that. You know, it's a great commercial because I still talk about all the people walking around with those numbers. They were ridiculous numbers, right? You didn't see anybody walking around with five thousand or ten thousand dollars, which is what most people got. Now everyone's running seven hundred, eight hundred, a million, two million. It's going to be how much does it weigh? Because when it goes to zero, that's what you want to have. When it goes back to everything, there's only one thing that's money. It's gold. That's it. It's not shark's teeth or whale teeth or sheep skin or pieces of paper with, a, with colored ink on them. That's not money. How do I know? Well, you know. How many places have you been now where they won't even take cash? Right? Keeps climbing, doesn't it? Keeps rising. Look at all the forms. You know, and I share for I got it out again. My AL, my AML compliance. Okay, there's so much money laundering going on around out here. It's ridiculous. What it is is they're getting you ready. Right? All the younger days, I used my 19-year-old son. He didn't write a check. He uses some app. I, I, I want it's Venmo. It's called Venmo. Now, I, I don't know if you've heard of it or not. But it's just little, this little app. Him and his friends send each other money. Right? If, if uh, one guy picks up the tab, hey, I just sent you 8 bucks or I sent you 10 bucks. That's what they want. Because they already know. Right? Remember, we, we used to think about, oh, it's going to be the Amero. Then we realized, I re- that's not big enough. Oh, it's going to be an electronic thing. And, and think about, go back to what I was talking to you about. The debt we first went into in the 80s felt good, didn't it? Because the 70s was, wasn't great. Anything felt better than that. And then we promised, right? We promised. Okay, well, you know, we're, we're, we're going to balance the budget. Remember? They all campaigned on it. We're going to balance. You elect us, we'll balance the budget. Alan Greenspan was out there warning everybody. Next thing you know, we started getting all these bubbles. Right before Reagan left office, we had the crash of 87. Right? Then we had the tech bubble collapse. Right? Then, then we had, I don't even know what you want to call it, the financial crisis, I guess is what they're calling it. That wasn't a crisis. I wish it was. What's coming next will make that one look like good times. Believe me when I tell you. You know, they talk about this inverted yield 
curve. Everybody freaks out about it. I talk about it a lot. If the two-year note yields more than the 10-year note, we know what happens. Bad stuff. I've got a question for you. Have you been paying attention to it at all? Probably not because nobody talks about it. The Fed funds rate, and I don't care what they say, it's 2.5%. They tried it, oh, it's somewhere between two and a quarter and two and a half, right? They just made that crap up because they didn't want to say zero ten years ago. So they said, oh, it's somewhere between zero and .25, and now they just kind of kept it, you know. They never used to do that. Two and a half percent. Do you know where the two-year yield is? yields less than that. So does the five-year. So does the seven-year. The 10-year today is at 2.6. Right? And, and according to the idiots that are running the central bank, oh, by the way, sorry, 2.58. <laughs> That's how quick everybody's heading for the exits, by the way. What happened when the Fed's funds rate is higher than all of the bond yields. What do you call that? I can tell you this. It's definitely not good. I I don't know. I, I I'm not. I wish I knew better. I'll have. I'll, I'll try to find the answer. I don't know if this ever happened before ever. I'm not really sure how that logically is possible. Yet here we are. Remember what the bond market's supposed to be warning you. See, the bond market warns. It's a warner, at least in their little system that they've set up. When yields plunge, that means they're trying to tell you something that's not good. And again, remember where the biggest bubble of them all resides. 800-919-3776. 800-951-0592. You know what you got to do. I hope you take the time to do it. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. All of my money's in gold. I also have some money in palladium. What if it's a huge amount? Are you going to be okay financially? I think so. I'm actually not sure how much money I have, but I do know how many pounds of money I have. Oh, oh that is awesome. <laughs> that was great. Listen, that's what it's going to be. It's what it's going to be. Remember, you know, all this time, it's wealth insurance. We already know what's going to happen. There's no point getting upset about it. Because this is what's supposed to happen. I mean, really, in all honesty, I, I, I mean, they've written tons of books about it. Right, the the last guy that wrote the book was Ken Rogoff. I use it now to hold up one of my mics, by the way, prop it up. the 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 death of cash, he called it. Right, and he he he, he did the history of fiat money, and every chapter ends the same. Chapter after chapter after chapter goes to zero, goes to zero, goes to zero, goes to zero. What do you think the euro was? That was just preventing a bunch of countries from going to zero. Right now, guess what? They're all still doing it anyway, aren't they? Right? Italy's next. Italy's on the clock. But don't worry, everything's fine. Right? Just ask these morons. They parade out on TV. They'll tell you. The economy's strong. Is it? How do you know? Layoff announcements are up 30% year over year. That's strong. Right? They have the fake unemployment rate. They got a fake inflation rate. They got fake jobless. I mean, everything's fake, 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 fake. Right? Why not? It goes with the fake news. Why not? But this is how it's supposed to be. 
See, everybody always just said, we just don't know when. I got a good idea. Right? I really do. Right? I mean, why is it you can't use cash? Think about it. You know, we used to, and this is a true story. My wife used to pay our Discover card in cash. Yeah. So you go pay it off every month. And and I'm trying to think of what department store it was that, that was behind it, you know, because they're all tied together. But paid it in cash. Used to go to the bank. Pay our car payment in cash. Can't do either of those things. You can't do anything with cash, really. I can't even go put a hundred bucks in my kid's bank account. <laughs> can't do it. There's, nope. You're not on that account. Right? We talked about, I don't know how much longer I'm taking cash. Because they what? They just keep putting it on me, right? Keep putting it on me. First they charge you for it. Then they make you fill out all these forms. I got to have compliant meetings with Arlene and Wendy. So consequently, I have, com- I, I have the meetings, and I share them with, with all of you. Ask people that come in if they're terrorists. Right? You a money launderer? <laughs> Drug dealer? I mean, what are you? Who are you? It's all just part of the game. Right? And we can get upset. You can be upset. I get upset. I do. I, I'm upset about it. It makes me sick. Because this is, they've dumbed us down into this. We know when you really look at it logically, you know that that I'm right. Because none of us speak Chinese, and we're not the Roman Empire, right? or anything else in between, are we? You know the way all of these nations crumbled? It wasn't militarily. No one dropped a Roman, uh, a nuclear bomb on the Romans. Didn't happen. Yes, they did burn down their entire, their own capital, but that's a different, it didn't happen that way. They went bankrupt. It's what happened. It's what always happened. Right, and we tell, Eric used to tell the story about how they used to shave and clip, if you will, the Roman coin. Because they had gold for money. And they figured out, hey, well, if we just snip off a little bit, we can have more more money. Well, the problem was they kept snipping off a little bit, snipping off a little bit, snipping off a little bit. Next thing you know, all the denarius is, some were bigger, some were smaller, and people were like, hey, what's going on? You know what? I can't tell you. Now I need two denarius instead of one. Instead of two, I need four. Instead of four, I need eight. Next thing you know, everybody's starving to death, and nobody, nobody's got enough money for anything. And they invented this great thing called debt. We've had 50 years, not even quite 50 years. Right? 2021, what, 50 years. 1971, the whole national debt was $400 billion. And about $150 billion of it happened in the, in the six years before 71, just so you know. The rest of it, most, almost, almost all of the rest of the 250 that was left, that was from World War II. You know, people didn't really know, because, again, they don't want you to know your history. Do you know we ran just as many budget surpluses as we did budget deficits from the end of World War II to 1971? People, most people don't know that. We weren't a debtor nation. We didn't become a debtor nation until we allowed the central bank to have full control. Now look at us. Think about all the great accomplishments we did without debt. Right? We we created the greatest economy on earth. You know, it's also funny. Right around that time, we never ran another budget surplus again, or I mean, uh, a trade surplus again either. Right? They go hand in hand. We haven't had a trade surplus or a budget surplus 
essentially since 1971. And realize they, the trade surplus, I think, was 73. Hmm. One plus one. Patriot Radio News Hour, final segment on a Thursday. Final segment on this Thursday, U.S. $20 gold pieces, 1 through 9, 13.95. 10 through 19, 13.85. 20 or more, 13.75. At 800 951 0592. And the question of the day, how much does your retirement weigh? Because 10 years from now, that's the only thing that's really going to matter. You know, when you look at what we've done, it, it, it really is sickening and disgusting when you really think about it. I just saw an article, I, I don't even have time to do it because it just came up. Your kids, our kids, my boys, your sons, your daughters, maybe it's your grandkids, maybe it's your great-grandkids, going to spend $75,000 on their iPhones in their lifetime. I remember back when they broke up the bells. Remember, oh, it's a monopoly! Of course, think about like what they've done with the banks now. They've changed all the laws so much, everything's a monopoly. The phone bill, when you were growing up, was like maybe five bucks. <laughs> I mean, it didn't cost anything. Now you're talking about, hey, you're going to spend 75 k just on your phone. And that's, then again, who knows? Is it 75K or is it going to be 750K? Who knows? I mean, look at Apple today. They want $1,000 just for the regular phone. You want the souped up bottle, 1,400 bones. Right? You can buy a $20 gold piece or a fancy Apple iPhone that two years from now you're going to have to replace because the battery won't hold the charge anymore. 800-951-0592. The Dow's down 400. We'll see you again. I hate this. We always say it's early. Who knows? Uh, The S&P's down 30. The NASDAQ's down 100. Big, big bad news out of Apple. We had a horrible uh, manufacturing report. I didn't get to that as well, as well as mortgage data. Uh, I mean, just a bunch of stuff. Challenger Gray and Christmas on mass layoff announcements. Uh, tomorrow we get the government jobs number. Boy, I hope it's a good one because I'm afraid if it's not. Uh, gold, 1291 right now, up 7 Silver, up 8 $15.73. Uh, crude oil has been up and it's been down. It's actually up right this second. It's been uh, down as well. I don't know why it's up, I'll be honest. I think crude's got more pain to come, and that's actually not a good thing. Uh, but nonetheless, right now, crude oil's at uh, $46 and change, still a long way uh, from 50 and And we'll see how that all shakes out. Uh, tomorrow, I'll see. I don't know... Premiums rising everywhere. Silver premiums, junk silver, silver eagles, all of those jumped 50 cents overnight uh, since the move here. 800 951 Take the time. Put it away. You're going to be glad you did. Patriot Radio News Hour, uh, final show of the week tomorrow.